Somebody, what's the ring? Are you? She said, I'm sorry, it was Ezra. See why having a grown man as a boyfriend when you in high school is bad luck? Because we trying to get the tea, are you? We trying to get the tea. And here you go. I'm going to just keep reading. I'm going to just keep reading. I hate Ezra. I hate him so much. What's up, y'all? It's Jess. Welcome back to the channel. I know I've been gone for a very long time. I know, and it's been like a week in suggestions time, <laughs> but um, I just needed to step away for a minute, but we back. Listen, we back. Y'all are in a new location today. You're in my dining room. I'm sitting at my dining room table, um, and I also have a new mic, y'all. I bought a new mic. Listen, I... Hello? 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 You know, I might have been gone for a minute, but I was still thinking about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Got my new little mic. Hello? Listen, let's jump back on Pretty Little Liars. I completely forgot where we are in this story. <laughs> I think um we had got the video of Allison, maybe. Listen, I don't know. Listen, let's jump into it. Oh, yeah, y'all. Mona. Mona, where you been, girl? We've been trying to get a hold of you all night. Mona said, my bad. I just heard about the accident. I came as soon as I could. Arya said, what happened, Mona? You disappeared back in the woods. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, period. Mona said, sort of like hitting somebody with your car. <laughs> anyway, I was following a lead. What lead, Mona? We being suspicious, y'all. What lead, girl? What were you following yourself, Mona? Because from here, that looks like the best place to start. Mona said, I was trying to help. I said, girl, if you wanted to help, you should have stuck with Arya back at the glamp grounds, period. Instead of running off to do who knows what. You probably a. you know what I'm saying? Mona said, well, if you listen, I'm trying to explain that. Mona, don't get no attitude now. Don't get no attitude. She said, I got separated from Arya in the woods, but before I could look for her, I saw these two guys in hoodies. I couldn't see their faces, but they had matching eye tattoos. When I got closer, I heard them talking about the night I was kidnapped. They were worried the cops were going to figure out what happened, whose body they really found. They were talking about making some kind of plan at a big meeting tomorrow night. Spencer said, meaning tonight, the 12th of the month, just like Mona Double's note. <laughs> Mona said, uh, excuse you, did you just say Mona Double? Spencer said, whoever those tattooed guys were, they were right. The cops are close to figuring out what happened. They exhumed the body. Emily said, the body they buried is you. She looks exactly like you. It's kind of freaky, actually. Mona said, first of all, don't nobody look like me. <laughs> but more importantly, that's seriously messed up. Arya said, the girl was buried with a note. It was in Latin, but the gist was that the keepers of the secret must steal and sacrifice a secret on the 12th of the month. Mona said, okay, it's not like I expected investigating Allie's murder would be a barrel of laughs, but now there's some spooky cult involved and a girl with my face? This is so freaky. Y'all, we're going to press for more information. I ain't giving that girl a moment. She done had a bunch of moments while she was not here. We were running around this hospital. We pressing her, full court press. Mona, did you hear where the meeting was supposed to be? Mona said, when I tried to get closer, someone must have hit me from behind because I passed out. When I woke up, everyone was gone. Somebody knocked you upside the head? But it's okay, because I figured out how to track them down. Are you said, well, <laughs> let's hear it. Mona said, what do all these creepy stalkers have in common? Arya said, a monochromatic wardrobe and a penchant for psychological torture. Tattoos. There's only one tattoo shop in Rosewood. Someone there must know someone in this club. I said, we only got a few hours to figure out where this meeting is. Let's visit the tattoo parlor. All right, let's do it. Y'all look at them smoking cigarettes outside the tattoo parlor. <laughs> do y'all have tattoos? I don't have no tattoos. I don't have no tattoos. I always wanted a tattoo like on my shoulder. Okay, sorry. We back on. <laughs> y'all look. Emily said, these must be all the tattoos they've given here. Spencer said, look what made the cut. Okay, that's the eye, y'all. Why was all blurry? The tattoo artist said, can I help y'all? <laughs> yeah, let's be, let's be charming, y'all. We were hoping so. Flirt with him, girl. I really like that design with the eye, but I want something rare. Is that a popular one? 
He said, that one, not super common. I've only given it to one person in the last year. Okay, that's great. It's just, I'd rather not have the same tattoo as somebody I know. What do he look like? He said, he. He looked like a super cute blind chick with long brunette hair. Okay, on second thought, I don't think that tattoo for me. You done gave it to Jenna. Jenna Marshall, she got the eye tattoo. She part of this club. Emily said, it makes sense. She hated Ali. I said, with a vengeance. The tattoo artist said, look, if y'all ain't gonna get a tattoo, I'm about to ask y'all to get on up out of here. Arya said, I want one. Emily said, what? You want a tattoo? Are you sure, girl? She said, I want some Roman numerals. I-X-I. Mona said, 9-1? The day Allie disappeared. Spencer said, I don't understand, Arya. Why would you want to commemorate the day our lives went off the rails? Arya said, because it's also the day that bonded us forever. The day we met Jess. I want to redefine that date and take back control. This will be the perfect reminder to stand up to whatever life or A throws at us. Emily said, I want one too. Okay, that's such a cool idea. I'm going to have to pay for it. Emily said, Arya's right. It's time we took control over our lives. And the fact is, we're all in this together. If Arya's doing this, then so am I. I think we all should. Spencer said, I agree. We're stronger together. This way, we'll never forget that. Mona said, you guys will look amazing in matching tattoos. Absolutely. Emily said, I'm going to be there for y'all, and this tattoo will show me you're there for me too. Arya said, it means so much if we could do it all together. The tattoo artist said, I got time now. Y'all will look killer with matching tats. Emily said, Jess, what you think? You going to join us? How much is it, Emily? Jess, please. <laughs> it would look pretty hot. How much is it? And I bet Brian would love it. I don't care about Brian. <laughs> Spencer said, what do you say, Jess? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it, y'all. Not be the odd girl out. <laughs> Okay, count me in, Mr. Tattoo Man. He said, all right then, let's make it happen. Okay. Look. <laughs> Look at me, y'all. Get my tag. Look at all of us. We just walked out the tattoo shop in our bras. <laughs> Is that what we did? Spencer said, this looks amazing, Arya. This was your best idea ever. Not ever. <laughs> she said, I'd be offended by that if these didn't look so freaking good. You should be offended, Arya. Emily said, Jess, that looks so good on you. Seriously, Jess, it means so much to me that you got one too. Thank you. I said, we always got to be best friends, sis. And Spencer's right. This was an amazing way for us to make that promise, Arya. She said, ever since I got back from A's lair, things with Ezra has been tense. And I can't tell you how much it means knowing you're there for me. I said, of course I am. And I always will be. But I don't understand, girl. Why are things tense with Ezra? Because he a grown man. She said, there's just so much I can't tell him. Every lie drives another wedge between us. Maybe he should go look for an adult his own age. Maybe that's what he should do. She said, but today has made all the difference. Now I really know you've got my back. Girl, please. I got your back when you leave that man alone. Who is this? <laughs> this who is this man? He said, whoa, killer tattoos, girls. Thank you, whoever you are. Nothing cuter than a girl with a tattoo. Who are y'all? Y'all just random men? What? Look at Mona rolling her eyes. Mona said, yes, yes. It's all very exciting. But there's still a murder cult on the loose. If we're going to make it to that meeting, we need to track down Jenna. Spencer said, and we will. Right after we take a picture. Mona, do you mind? <laughs> Not us taking a picture in our bras like that. Mona ain't getting no tattoo. I guess she ain't part of the crew, though. Y'all, we over here getting tattoos. We got to solve a case. <laughs> Mona said, if y'all finish, then we got a stake out to get to at Jenna Marshall's house. I mean, you're right, Mona. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look at Jenna, y'all. There she go. Arya said, should we, like, hide? Spencer said, for what? Is she blind? <laughs> Mona said, shh. She not deaf. <laughs> Who is this man? Y'all, don't we know this man? Spencer said, come on, I called us a car. How you call a car? You were standing right there. Yo, who is that man? We know that man, don't we? Ain't he the driver? Look at all of us in the backseat, all five of us. 
Are you said, what's this place? It's not very secretive for a hideout. Spencer said, it looks just like some kind of boutique and not even a very good one. I said, it'll be too suspicious if we all go in. Y'all wait here. I'll check it out. Emily said, be careful, Jess. You have no idea who she could be meeting here. All right, girl, look. I'm a thug. You know what I'm saying? Jenna, cuckoo. What y'all doing? Okay, here go Vanessa, y'all. Vanessa said, no, whatever, whatever. That's the NAT thing, y'all. And then Jenna said it back. They speak in Latin. Looks like we came to the right place. I need to find out where they meeting. Vanessa said, everything is ready for you, just like we planned. Who is Vanessa? This is the moment we've all been waiting for. What moment? Yeah, what are, they t what are these people talking about? Oh, my God. <laughs> the vendor just said, excuse me, Vince. That portion of the story is employees only. I know. Why are you following me? It's all come down to this. Whatever those two are talking about is the key to finally finding the NAT club. Okay, I ain't leaving nothing empty-handed. We finding out the tea, y'all. Gotta be some way back there. Uh, we gotta create a distraction. I ain't making up no sob story. I don't know this lady. I was looking for the manager. I think I saw somebody shoplifting at the front of the store. Look at her. Run. <laughs> Go that way. Look at Jenna, y'all. Vanessa said, tonight's a big night. Everyone's gathered at the meeting spot. Jenna said, the kissing rock. She said, no, that was compromised. Tonight we'll be at 23 Bridgewater Terrace. That's Spencer's address. Who, what? <laughs> Jenna said, I'll be there. She said, you better be. After the disaster that was our last recruit, let's just say you can't afford to mess up. Take this. What's, she, what's that? What is it? It's a knife? <laughs> Vanessa said, you know what it is, Jenna. You told me you were prepared to do whatever was necessary. Jenna said, I am. She said, good. Now go get ready. Tonight we'll be deciding one of our members' fate, and you need to be prepared. Y'all. <laughs> Arya said she gave her a knife? Yeah, girl. Spencer said, why? Why would they be meeting at my house? I don't know, Spencer. We'll get the answer to that question when we get there. Look at Arya's face, y'all. <laughs> Look at everybody's face right now. What matters is that Jess got us a huge advantage. Emily says, seriously, Jess, that took guts and quick thinking. Way to go, girl. We'd be screwed without you. I know. I know. I'm a, I'm a G out here, you know. Mona said, and we might still be screwed up if we don't get the drop on Club Creep. Spencer said, Mona's right. Let's go. Okay. Okay, I think we beat him here. Mona said, look. Y'all look at, look at Ruiz. Of course Ruiz is in on this. Jenna walking into the barn with that knife. <laughs> Arya said, uh, Spence, isn't that Melissa? And Ian, y'all. I said, come on, let's get closer to the window. Okay, look at the hoodie, y'all. Alex said, tonight, the keepers of the secret welcome our newest member. Jenna, step forward and offer your stolen secret as sacrifice to complete your last rite of passage. Y'all, Jenna said, my secret comes from Rosewood General Hospital, where a girl named Lisa has been in a coma. Everyone thought she wrecked her car because she was driving drunk, but I stole the police report from her accident. Turns out Lisa started to talk in her sleep. And now the police are getting close to putting together the truth about her accident. Once we find the secret Allie stole from her, we'll know everything. Okay, once the truth comes out, my life is over. I'm going to be arrested and my dad will be ruined. Okay. Alex said, you offered your secret, Jenna. Now tell us why you're worthy of joining the secret keepers. She said, because I've had surgery to regain my vision. It'll take a while before I can see clearly. But once I can, I won't let anyone know. I'll be the greatest asset you could have. Arya said, B can see. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, why is it blood on the knife? Did Jenna stab herself? What did she do? <laughs> Alex said, now that Jenna has given us just a secret, we'll handle the bigger issue. Ian, step forward. How they know I'm 
I'm in it. Why am I in it? They talk about Lisa. <laughs> Emily said, that's Ian? And who are the others? Spencer said, for starters, Ruiz, Jenna, and Melissa. Alex said, have you recovered the video yet? He said, I'm working on it. Alex said, working on it ain't good enough. If the cops find the video of Allison De Laurentiis, they're going to be all over us. Ian said, I know that. I understand the stakes here. I promise I'll get the video back, no matter the cost. Okay. Somebody, what's the ring in? Are you? She said, I'm sorry, it was Ezra. See why having a grown man as a boyfriend when you in high school is bad luck? Because we trying to get the tea, are you? We trying to get the tea. And here you go. I'm going to just keep reading. I'm going to just keep reading. I hate Ezra. I hate him so much. Okay, somebody out there. What y'all waiting for? Take care of it. Okay, y'all, we got to run. Right, do we split up or do we stick together? We got to split up, y'all. Split up. Oh, my God. Oh. Y'all. Ian said, you really shouldn't eavesdrop, Jess. 